I'm turning this City Classics Carson Street terminal into PMI fabricators for my switching layout. I started using this kit to test colors for another build, and then I played with other darker brick colors. I tried different techniques such as brush painting and stippling with a sponge. I also tried Vallejo Liquid Mask number 70.523. For paint, I used mostly Craft Smart paint from Michaels and Apple Barrel paint from Walmart. I did use Vallejo Concrete Color with an airbrush. So today I'm going to try and some of the City Classics building. You can see here that I did go ahead and mask with that uh, Vallejo mask. We're going to try that, and I'm, I mask everything else obviously with the uh, with the tape. But we need to get these done, these done, and these done and so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the sponge technique and we're going to um, try and get these to match uh, these areas to match this to match this again here which was the lighter one which you can see on there versus the really really dark one once, once we finish that, then I'm gonna go ahead and pull the masks off. And I have some decals, but they're in white. So we're gonna go ahead and paint a little square of black to put the white over top of that. I'm going to try to get it up to the camera here, but you can see right in here, you see this white right in here there that happened throughout the um, doing the sponge technique just because of angles I'll show you again on here where you can starkly see you can see it all around the edges right there right there so what I'm gonna do different this time or come back to and try and uh, combat that is to use a brush to dry brush into the corners and kind of stipple in those corners so and along those lines so we'll see how that goes as well. the two that I've done earlier you can see that one's much darker than that one so I'm gonna want to match that and there's a big hole there so we're gonna want to follow up on that one dark and concentrated we're gonna add some more so we're just keep layering so we get the white. And I only wanted a hint of the orange. The orange I was using for another project. So um, I'm gonna see. So it, I didn't want it too bright. So let's see if we can get this to, there we go. And again, random. It's very thin, so it's harder to be able to random because you're kind of going straight across. But I can, let's see if we can get the difference in here for you. So that's a little bit better. This one's a little bit lighter now. And you can layer as much as you want. You can see down here the bottom there. I don't have it taped off so it's pretty light so when I go back to use the brush I'm going to tape that again. I'll, I'll do a little do a little work on that because that's um, it's super open and and they're pretty dark um, you know and, and so we'll see but I think I like where we're at with that one and uh, we'll go ahead and work on 
this one next. And you can see from my hand painting debacle, there's plenty, I and mean, you can see it better here, there's plenty of marks from the green that I used with straight acrylic paint. So we're gonna go back and see if we can't get that to blend in. Um, but I'll come back and show you that later. So now that I've done some touch up with the brush, let me see if I can get this in focus. There you go, that is that one. And then we'll have this one if I can. Okay, so the next step here is we're gonna go ahead and try and remove the um, masking from Vallejo. And you will notice I have a glove on and I'll show you why. You can use tools, like you can use a tweezers to remove the masking and it comes off in pieces here. And you can see it coming off already, you know, so you could do that. But because it is a material, what you can do is you certainly can go, it does allow you to use your fingers to get it off. And now you're gonna wanna take as much off as you can. And that's what's left. So when you're using your fingers, you wanna do this, but you can see in the corners that we'll need to get some more off. So I'll go to the tweezers, but look at that. Mm -hmm. 